What you guys got another video on mistakes to avoid when buying a pre-built gaming system or just a pre-built computer in general. A lot of people are looking to get into PC gaming and they can't get their hands on a graphics card. So a lot of YouTubers are recommending go and buying a pre-built gaming system like these. Now this one was £399. As you can see here, it comes with a Ryzen 5 4650. It's got 16 gigabytes of DDR4. Uh, and also it's got one terabyte hard drive in here, no SSD and no operating system. So let's take a look and show you some of the things to look out for when you're buying a uh, you know, pre-built system. Now this is a custom pre-built system, so it's not one of those uh, Dells or HPs or anything like that. This is more of a custom built system. Now one of the little tricks they use these companies to get you to spend more money is upgrades. They get you to upgrade your system so you can add more memory you can add uh, an ssd to it you can add an operating system to it you can upgrade the uh, motherboard and things like that and this is where uh, the prices will start to spiral out of control this will soon become a super expensive pc and it won't be worth buying now one of the first problems i see is a micro atx motherboard in an atx case you can see these cables dangling down here and you've got cables on the side that you can see. And that's because the case is a very large case with a very small motherboard in here. It's a budget motherboard as well, which means you don't get a lot of features on here. It comes with one RAM stick, 16 gigabytes. We upgraded this to 16 gigabytes instead of eight gigabytes. And guess what? It still come with one stick of RAM. It's also got very slow RAM speeds on here. And that's another thing they do. They sell you... A cheaper budget um, RAM with cheaper slower speeds. Budget motherboard, which means you don't get a lot of fan headers on here, so they start using extension cables. And this can cause you a lot of problems when you come to upgrading the system later on with more fans, or maybe RGB. It doesn't have any RGB headers on the board. You can't overclock with this uh, motherboard, and certain other things like that. So you just have to take into account, can it do everything you want it to do? Uh, the other thing you can see here is this Wi-Fi card. They've spent all this money putting a Wi-Fi card in here when they could have just upgraded the motherboard to a full-size ATX board, which would look a lot better in that case, in my personal opinion. There is a hole here, which is for the graphics card, but obviously this build doesn't come with a graphics card, so that will be punched out ready for the card to go in there. And you can see pretty much bare bones uh, motherboard here. Very, very cheap board, probably around about 30 odd pounds for this board. Other things to look out for is the lack of SSDs and also lack of NVMe drives or uh, the lack of operating systems. You can see this one only comes with one terabyte hard drive. It's a Toshiba drive and also it doesn't have an SSD or operating system in here. So you will have to purchase those and put them on. You can install Windows 10 without uh, activating it so why they didn't install it on there I really don't know so these are the things you're going to have to look out for and take into account when you're buying a pre-built system you're going to probably have to upgrade the memory because you're only running on single channel which means you're not getting dual channel speeds you've got cable management is okay but you can see here a lot of extension cables really cheap ones as well uh, because there's not enough fan headers on the board so they've actually used splitters and that's something that you really don't want. So you'd have to replace this. And again, there's only one fan header on the middle of the board. The other one is used for the CPU cooler. So that's the reason why you're seeing these uh, cheap extension uh, cables here uh, for the fans and stuff like that, because there's only one fan header on there for your fans, which isn't great, to be honest. Now, looking down the bottom here, it looks a bit sparse down here. And that's because uh, they have got hardly anything in here. And again, you've got a really cheap power supply. I wanted to really cover this about the power supplies on these cheap systems because they are absolutely hideous. They're also a fire hazard. So be very careful when you're buying these because you will have to eventually uh, upgrade this if you want to put in a decent graphics card. This generic builder black 500 watt power supply that come with a PC is only 18 pounds and 42 pence. And again, when you times this up, you can see 12 times 22 equals 264, which means you're only getting 264 watts on the 12 volt rail and not 500 watts. Now, again, you can pick these up for as little as 10 pounds. I've seen them there for 10 pounds and you can buy them in bulk for that price as well from China. So now you can see where they're cutting costs to save money so they can make profit. 
This thing is a complete fire hazard, in my personal opinion. It'll do a massive fireworks display for free in your home once this actually explodes and pops. Now, you may be thinking that I could just add a graphics card uh, to this system at later date, but unfortunately, you can't with this power supply because the power supply doesn't have a PCIe uh, power cable for your graphics card on the power supply, which means it's not capable of doing that type of uh, power. So there's your other problem you've got. You're going to have to upgrade your power supply and change it. You can see the crappy cables they're using to build these power supplies, really low quality, and they're not really safe, to be honest, in my personal opinion. Stay clear of these. You can see a cheap old 24-pin connector on the end there. And this is what you can expect with these pre-built gaming systems. It's as light as a box of feathers, and it's not worth um, any money at all. And I wouldn't be putting it in any PCs that I build. So you can see now, if you bought this PC for £399, you would have to replace the power supply, you would have to replace the RAM, and then you would have to obviously put in an SSD. And now this bumps the price up to a pretty good gaming system which you could build yourself and save yourself a load of money. I would advise you to put in something like this 550 watt uh, power supply, which is a bronze certified. You can see better quality cables, a branded manufacturer name on the box, which means it's going to be much more reliable. Also, it is a modular power supply, which means you don't have any sort of cables being stuffed inside there. And again, it will cost you a little bit more, but in the long run, it's going to be a better purchase for you. So this is why I always advise people to build your own. And you can see the quality of the power supply. It states it right here. It's giving you 550 watts on the 12 volt rail, whereas the other one was only giving you half the recommended uh, wattage, which is going to be no good to put uh, anything in there. So this is the reason why you try to go for branded parts and it's best to build your own. It's not that difficult. And buying these pre-built systems, and I know a lot of YouTubers make content on these pre-built systems, but try and avoid them like the plague. They're not worth it. Now, if you're looking to buy... Uh, other ones like Dell Optiplexes and other PCs like HPs and other ones like that, then they're going to have proprietary parts inside them. What does that mean? It just means that you're going to run into trouble when you try to do certain things. The power supplies in them are really low wattage. They are only 200 plus watts on there. And when you start putting beefy graphics cards in there, yes, they will run sometimes, uh, but they then become a fire hazard when you start putting far too much wattage through uh, than what that power supply was designed to do. And it can catch fire. So you've got to be very, very careful when you're doing that. Now, I know a lot of YouTubers show that sort of stuff and say you can put one of these cards in it, but long-term use, I really wouldn't do it. Uh, and you've got to be very careful. So be very careful when you're looking for pre-built systems or pre-built gaming systems, whether it'll be a uh, proprietary uh, stuff like Dell's or HP or any of those types of systems, or whether it be custom built systems like you see earlier on in the video. The problem with these is they're going to end up costing you money uh, as well on top of what you've already paid because you're going to have to replace parts in them, especially things like that RAM. It's only got one stick of RAM in it, and you really want to run dual channel uh, memory, which gives you much more better performance. Uh, so upgrading the RAM is going to be the first thing then you got that power supply you're going to have to upgrade the power supply because it's rubbish and it's no good it's going to put all your parts at risk if it uh, lets go and blows remember that had no operating system and no uh, ssd so you're going to have to add an ssd at a later date which is again more money and they've already thought about all this and this is why you're getting it at such a cheap price because they've taken out all the expensive parts so if you start adding in things like this it starts to top up and then that's without adding your graphics card to the equation. And now you've got a system which you could have probably built yourself a lot cheaper because that system was £399. And the time you add all them parts in, it's going to be a lot more expensive. And it's the same thing with these Dell Optiplexes, HPs, and all these other pre-built systems. You're going to run into a lot more problems and cause yourself a lot more headaches down the line. Anyway, these are some of the mistakes to avoid when buying a pre-built gaming system. Be careful out there, guys. There's a lot of sharks out there, and they are waiting and hungry to take your money off you. So be very careful. With that said, my name has been Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big thanks to all my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now, and I shall see you again 
for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.